How are you boys and girls? I'm teacher Regan. Welcome to Easy Learning, where learning is simplified. So uh, this morning or this afternoon, we are going to discuss how to round off numbers to the nearest tens of millions. So this is a development on the previous uh, lessons we have had on rounding off numbers to the nearest hundreds of thousands and millions. So, in our last session, we discussed that uh, rounding of numbers simply implies uh, writing a given number to the required or to a certain significant figures in order to attain uh, the required degree of accuracy. So, and rounding off also is pegged, uh, or the concept of place value is very vital when it comes to rounding off of numbers, because you'll have to consider the digits in various place values, depending on how the question has been structured. So maybe straight away, look at an example. Example on how to round off numbers to the nearest tens of millions. So you can be given an example like um, round off, round off the number, the number below. the nearest millions the nearest millions so allow me to start with what we know we appreciate what we know we start from known to unknown so we are we are now conversant to the how to round off numbers to the nearest millions for example you have a number like um, um, 999,000 and you're supposed to round off this number to the nearest million. So I said that for you to be able to round off a number to the nearest any place value, you need to identify, first of all, that digit, the digit in the stated place value, then the digit in the preceding place value or your place value of interest. So for example, in this case, you're supposed to round off the number to the nearest millions. Here, we do not have a digit in the stated place value because our stated place value is millions and the number that we have is 999,000. So in that case, we are only going to concentrate on the digit in the place value that precedes millions. And the place value that precedes millions is hundreds, is hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands. hundreds of thousands and the digit there our digit there is nine nine is five and above that implies that we are going to round up by adding one to the next or subsequent digit however in this case that digit is not given because our number is only to the tune of hundreds of thousands so this implies when i write that this the meaning of this is what it means this implies that we are going to add one, we are going to add one, the next digit, zero, 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 and we replace the rest with zero, zero, ten, such that we have one million. So when you round off 999,000 to the nearest million, you'll get 1 million. So we have rounded up. That's why the value of our number has increased. Roman 2 can be given a number like uh, 12 million 369,412. So here, the nearest millions, our digit in the place value of millions is 2. And the digit in the place value of interest, or rather the place value that precedes millions, is three. Three is less than five. Three is less than five. That means we are going to replace the rest of these digits by zero and round down. Or otherwise, in other words, we are not going to add any number to the next digit. So we shall have 12. Zero, 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 zero. So we shall have 12 million. So you can see the value of our number has reduced, or in other words, the value has gone down because we have rounded down. Are we together, class? Good.
So that was on how to round off numbers to the nearest millions. But our topic is talking about tens of millions. So how then do we go about rounding off numbers to the nearest tens of millions? Let us look at an example. Let us look at an example. How to round off numbers to the nearest tens of millions. Tens of millions. Uh, just have to change here. So I save on time and resources. Nearest tens of millions. Tens of millions. And Roman 1, we have, uh, let us take our Roman 2 here to be our first example. We're rounding off the numbers to the nearest tens of millions. So we have 12 million 369,412. 12 million 300 and 69,412. Peter, can you give us our the digit in the stated place value, please? The digit in the stated place value, which is tens of million. Good. So the digit in the stated place value is one. That is the digit in the stated place value. Because the place value of the first digit here is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands millions and tens of millions. So digit one is occupying the place value of tens of millions. And after that, we identify the digit in the place value of interest or the place value that precedes the stated place value, which is, Irene, millions, correct. So the, the digit that precedes that is millions and the digit there is two. So two, the digit is two and two is less than five is less than five. What does that imply? That implies that we are going to round down this number. We are not going to add any digit to the next number, but we are going to round down by replacing the rest of the digits by zero and maintaining our digit in the place value that is stated. So here we shall have, we shall have one zero 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 zero. So, if you round off 12 million 369,412 to the nearest 10, 10 million, then it becomes 10 million. It has actually gone down, or rather, we have rounded it down. Next example. Next example. Next example, very fast. Next example. Roman 2. We can have uh, we can have a number like uh, 92, 92 million shillings, 439,515 shillings to be rounded off to the nearest tens of millions. Again, nothing changes, nothing changes class solution. We identified the digit in the stated place value. The stated place value is tens of million, and we have nine in that place value. After that, identify the digit that precedes the stated place value. The digit is two, occupying the place value of millions. It occupies the place value of millions. So here, two is less than five which implies that we are not going to add anything to 9, but we replace all the digits behind or before 9 by 0. So here we shall have 92,439,515. We have 9, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So if you round off that to the nearest tens of millions, you'll have 90 million. Any question class? You can see the way they are very simple things. So long as you are keen, you cannot have any challenge when it comes to rounding off of a number. All you need to appreciate, are you able to identify the digit in the stated place value? That is your first step. The second step, identify the digit in the place value that precedes or the one that comes before the stated one. Once you have identified that digit, Ask yourself, if the digit is 5 and above, then you round up by adding 1 to the next digit. If it is 5 and below, you round down by not adding anything and replacing, of course, the rest of the digits by 0. 
If you do that, then you can never go wrong about it. Any question? Okay, if you don't have any question, let me just give you a few for your personal revision. For your personal revision. These are very simple concepts. They are actually the basics of mathematics. Once you conceptualize this, then you can never have challenge uh, going ahead. Exercises. Exercises. Round off. Round off the following. The following numbers to the nearest the nearest tens of millions tens of millions so we have roman one you can have 20 million roman two you can have one million three hundred and seven hundred and thirty four thousand one hundred and twelve roman three you can have thirteen million six hundred and nine thousand one hundred and eleven. So do those ones to check whether you have actually understood uh, what we have discussed today. Otherwise, allow me to stop there. Uh, then when we meet next time, we shall discuss how to round off numbers to the nearest hundreds of millions. Otherwise, uh, that is the end of our first session today.